Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about deadlifting for the elderly. Now, deadlifting gets a really bad rap because, uh, is it bad rap or bad rap? Rep, rep, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. So, it gets a bad rep, maybe, for hurting people's backs, right? So, I think that's only because this movement is pretty difficult and most people are really uneducated about their bodies and they don't really know how to they don't have the you know patience to learn how to pick those things up and to i keep doing this thing with my hands bring their hips forward so that they're using their hips to stand up instead of overloading their back not only for stabilizing themselves but also for picking weights up but what i want to talk about specifically with the elderly is learning how to deadlift or maintaining your ability to deadlift is very effective for maintaining your sense of purpose, right? The people who lose motion, you ask anyone who has an injury or chronic pain or something that starts to debilitate them, that is, is debilitating in many different ways. And, and the, the sense of purpose that they lose because they feel like somebody has to take care of them, it, it can be a, a very strong side effect of these other things. So what I would encourage my more elderly lifters or viewers to do is try something new, learn some new exercise, and maybe it can be the deadlift. As long as you have a coach who's gonna teach you how to do it in a very progressed way, maybe you start from the top and you work your way down, you just first, you learn how to bend over while using your leg muscles, and then later on, maybe you work yourself down so that you're picking stuff up off the ground, and keep trying different stuff. You'll not only get um, this, you know, maintain this mobility, but the deadlift is a very good anti-gravity exercise. So gravity is the thing that's trying to crush us. And as you get older, your body starts to give in more and more and more. And that's why you see when, when people are not just older, but even if they're just tired, they start to slouch more and they start to get collapsed over their chest caves. And a big way to combat this is just to learn how to stand up, especially against the load. We, you know, we did some stuff like this with a woman in a wheelchair who couldn't walk and thought she'd never be able to walk and trained her for a few weeks and she got out of the wheelchair. It was amazing. It's really cool to see stuff like that. So uh, <laughs> our main principle here is it's time to persevere. Keep trying stuff, keep training yourself, and you know, keep your sense of purpose.